Here you go, Jay. Jay, we welcome go. to Coffee right. Break. Thank you. Okay. We're Excellent. so excited Excellent. to come Glad up to here, here and meet you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about Jay's Art Shop and Frame Gallery. Well, we've uh, been in business since May 1st, 1972. Wow. We received wow. our charter from the Secretary of State. And uh, we uh, started with one store and parlayed it to seven stores, sold five of them. We have two stores in our existing building. Uh, a c couple of the stores are still going strong. The Bennington Bookshop is an integral part of the downtown community. And Jay's Hallmark, who my son runs, out in the shopping center. So uh, we've been a, a, a very uh, happy part of the uh, downtown Bennington community for a little over 43 years. And you're the largest art supply store in Vermont? We are, yes. Yep. That's and impressive. Yes. Wow. So, and this is a very artful community. Yes, it, it is. It seems like. So you must be busy. We are busy, and uh, let me just share a little something with Please. you about Please. being busy. Uh, art supplies is one of our major departments, but we also do custom framing, which is a big and ties in nice with artists doing work and stuff like that. Yeah. And we also then in the Jay's Cards and Gifts section in the in the right hand side of the store, we have a large uh, selection of uh, uh, greeting cards, and most of them mm. we promote every day at fifty percent off. You can hardly get that anymore. Right. No. <coughs> and then we also have a big uh, uh, gift department. And upstairs, we have a stairway that goes back to the 1860s, and all made of all white oak. And up there, wow. we have an uh, art gallery, a lot of framed art and prints, art that we framed in our frame shop uh, downstairs and so on. So the reason I bring that up, the uh, not the secret to our success, but uh, what's uh, contributed to being somewhat successful over the years is our diversification, being diversified. And not everything is always up, some things are down and some things right. are up and so on, but amongst all of them, they uh, uh, come out quite good. Now, Jay, how'd you get into this business? I uh, was an executive in New York City and before that with IBM and I uh, got transferred. Uh, I was actually up here in, uh, <coughs> in um, Williamstown and Pownell area, I had three manufacturing plants there and a, a group executive vice president for a whole division of General Cable. And um, I got transferred back to Manhattan and took over another whole division with five plants all over the United States. And I had to do a lot of traveling and stuff like that. And my headquarters is on the uh, 24th floor, a nice uh, office uh, in the corner of uh, the Diamond International Building wow. and so on. But with all the good things that New York City have, it doesn't have what Vermont has. And my heart was really here. Uh -huh. in Vermont type of thing. So I approached two realtors, Bill Hoisington and Bill Eddington, and I asked them if they could help me find a business. And after about two weeks, Bill Eddington came to me, Gee, Jay, could you be more specific? And I couldn't be more specific, but I blurted it out. I said, Bill, it could be even anything like the Bennington Bookshop, because I was just there the Saturday before and bought my son a drafting table. Mm -hmm. And so he, unbeknownst to me at that time, uh, he approached the owners of the Bennington Bookshop and said, I have somebody interested in your business. One thing led to another, and I purchased a business. <laughs> and I parlayed the one store into seven stores, sold five of them, and have the two in our existing building. So I use some of my executive talents. Obviously. Uh, yeah. And you're doing something right. Winner of Reader's Choice, Best Gift Shop, Best right. Art Gallery, Best Art Supply and Store. And we're also featured right in the Yankee Magazine in the oh, wow. January, February issue as well. They had a nice write-up on as well. Spent almost a good half a day right in our store taking pictures. Wow. Yeah, I mean, obviously. That's the big time, too. When yeah. you're, that is. When you're Yankee, Yankee, Yankee Magazine. Yankee Magazine, yeah. Magazine yeah. One of the things we do, just to share some things with Please. you, so you don't have to keep quizzing me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll quiz you. Yeah, quiz her. We have uh, what we call two major events. One is our anniversary sale, May 1st, and the other one is our Hold Midnight Madness sale. And we don't just give a sale. Mm -hmm. We give 50% off the entire store. So this last Midnight Madness, which was July 16th, mm -hmm. we uh, closed at 5, reopened at 7 o'clock, a few minutes more because we had a big crowd outside. And we, the last customer in, we closed the store six minutes after midnight. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Wow. And it becomes an event, and people yeah. look forward to it as an event. And the same with our anniversary sale. We're open from 8 in the morning t till 6 at night, and the entire store, even stuff that came in the day before, 
that we unpacked and priced. Nothing is sacred. Everything goes out wow. at 50%. That's, and that's what it is. Become a wow effect. How can you afford to do that? That's Dad? right. It, it's, a, uh, it's not so much being afforded ability. It's something that I look to as a great way of giving back to the community. And it, it just uh, uh, makes a big improvement in our cash flow. Huh. We can stay on top of a lot of bills and so on. So that's how we can afford to do it. That's and great. it's not about making money. It's about giving back to the community and creating an event that's embedded in people's minds. Right. You're creating loyal yeah. customers. And creating loyal customers. There seems customers. to be a common theme here in Bennington about, you know, giving back to the community, being yes. part of the community. And, we've you know, all the different merchants we've talked to today, uh, they've all shared some the sentiment similar to that. We had the uh, our uh, winning uh, state championship uh, baseball team came in, and I just reached them. I, they were looking for donations. I didn't do anything out of the register of the store. I just reached in my pocket, handed them some money type of thing. Oh, I was so proud great. of reading them type of thing. I know earlier you're speaking about the community. Uh, you talked with uh, a representative from the Lions Club. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, I'm a past president of the Bennington Rotary Club. And we're very active in our community, too, uh, not only in our community, but also on the national and international scale. And one of our major events is eliminating polio. And we've mm. got it down to thousands, to over 10,000 people a year. Down the last year, we got it down to 22 worldwide. Wow. Worldwide. And wow. we would have had it to zero, but there are some countries that still resist it. They so it, it it fears with yeah. young boys' manhood and stuff like right, that right. and so on. Well, it's great. Well, it's, yeah. I mean, just, you know, it's <laughs> you often see someone like yourself. They're not just involved in, in your own shop. You're involved in the community. Absolutely. And helping out and reaching out and seeing how far that goes just from beyond Bennington to, uh, you know, internationally. Yes, that's right. I feel that uh, some people uh, always ask me when I'm going to retire. <laughs> and someday I will. <laughs> uh, uh, but this uh, October I'll turn 83. And I still ski a lot and so on. In fact, I wrote a nice article for the University of Vermont alumni magazine in the January issue. Mm -hmm. They invited me to write an article because somebody must have squealed on me, said I was still working. Everybody else <laughs> in my class in the 50s retired. Right. <laughs> so, uh, uh, but I said, what a, um, the essence of my article was, what a privilege to be able to work full time in your own business in your 80s. And I wrote a little bit about it. And one of the things I liked about it, I wrote about, was the social integration with people coming in the store. You know, just this interactive contact like you, the three of us are having mm -hmm. amongst us right now. And the other big thing is not only in the store, but I do all the design work for the custom framing. I take in all the framing and I truly enjoy creating some ex nice artwork with the mats and the frame and giving it back to the customer and getting lots of mm. oohs and ahs. It's more, it's, fun, it's right? not about money. It's, it's really, yeah. it's more about the, the, uh, the nice comments that people make about their artwork. Yeah. And a lot of people always say with the art supply, you know, thank God you're still here because a lot of art stores oh, have yeah. closed. They close, and yeah. when we've become the largest art supply store, we've evolved to that. Because and when you get art supplies, you want to be able to look at them and put your hands touch on your them. Hands right, really not order touch them online. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly, right. yes. Right. Well, Jay, it's been a pleasure talking yeah. with thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. So We're much. on your masthead there all the time in Connecticut, too. All right. I know. We like to hear that. Like yep. that. Yes. Yeah. That's great. Okay. That's nice great. meeting you both. Nice to Jay, meet you so too. great okay. to Thank meet you. Thank you.